This is a player conquered Geometry Dash's hardest levels, started some of the biggest and most intense rivalries, and one who did the impossible. Yet, over the years, he slowly faded away into obscurity. What happened to this player? Why did the best player in Geometry Dash become forgotten? To find this out, we have to go back in time to when Geometry Dash was in chaos. A player by the name of Seri had been dominating the player scene, being at the top of the leaderboards by a long shot. After dethroning a player by the name of Cyclic, he continued to get a massive lead. He was unmatched by anyone at the time, but over the coming months, cracks in his foundation started to show. Seri's lead slowly got smaller by the day, and over time, he was accused of cheating. As accusations spread, his activity declined, until one day, he was gone entirely. The top spot was now ready for anyone to claim, and a player named Lunar Sim was ready for the challenge. Lunar would download Geometry Dash way back in update 1.3. Despite creating levels for many updates, everything would change when update 1.9 would be released. He would begin grinding stars, slowly catching up while climbing the leaderboards. Someone was about to make history by finally ending Sari's reign. You see, in only a matter of weeks, Lunar was able to reach the third spot on the leaderboard. Only one hurdle was left before Sari, Cyclic. Cyclic had been at the top of the leaderboards dominating the scene as well. However, this happened. Cyclic would lose his account data, and proceeded to quit star grinding altogether. But that didn't mean it would be easy for Lunar. Cyclic was still well ahead, yet Lunar wouldn't give up. He was so close, he just had to keep pushing. And keep pushing he did, as he was growing rapidly. He was slowly becoming a possible candidate for the top spot. Suddenly though, something unexpected happened. Another player by the name of Exotic had also just passed Cyclic. It looked like it wouldn't be easy for Lunar. But you see, Lunar had something up his sleeve. Something I hadn't mentioned that made his rapid rise possible. While most of the best players at the time were decent, Lunar's skill levels were absurd. As soon as Lunar started playing in 1.3, he would begin creating a series of levels called Simfactorial. The first three would be quite easy, as most players could complete them in only a few attempts. But Lunar realized he didn't just want to create levels, he wanted to create demons. Geometry Dash has a few difficulties, ranging from easy being the easiest, insane, I know, and insane being the hardest. Until in 1.3, Robtop would release a difficulty even harder than the last, the Demon difficulty. Lunar was fascinated with the new difficulty, and used this skill to create Sim Factorial 4, a level which was considered one of the top 10 hardest demons at the time. Surprisingly, to Lunar, this was nothing. Underwhelmed, he felt like he needed to make something even better. His next creation would be so big that he would spend over 2 updates creating it. This is Sim Factorial 5. Lunar had spent attempt after attempt verifying this beast, narrowly avoiding any obstacle in his way. He would come out victorious despite the long hours and incredibly tight timings. But his levels of skill were being threatened. A new rival was quickly slaying demons, someone potentially far better than Lunar. They had just verified something harder than Tim Factorial 5, which meant Lunar no longer had the hardest demon. This is PG-1004. After PG-1004 had just dethroned his level and craving another challenge, Lunar made the 6th installment to his series, even harder than the last. By reading its description, you could probably assume it's relatively easy. Considering it reads, is this even hard? But that's not even close. This is what we call insanity. It was the world's most difficult level. Throughout it, you have to navigate many different paths where only one is correct, and often they are entirely invisible. The ending is especially my favorite part, as you must traverse this difficult ship part. If you get slightly close to one spike, your entire run would be over. One single spike. And mind you, he completed this in only a few days. He had done it again, a top 1 demon, but not for long. While Lunar was verifying Sim Factorial 6, PG had his own demon in the works, and you've probably seen it before. This is old PG Club Step, a version of the level which was despised by many. 
Even though the level has been nerfed, it remains one of the most hated levels to this day. Their conflict was stagnant though. Both players were exhausted from the rivalry. All they had to do was have one of them give the final punch. Now, verifying two of the hardest demons is impressive, but verifying three? That couldn't possibly- Craving another challenge once again? He wouldn't make another level. You see, he didn't have to. Neptune had released a demon that would change Geometry Dash forever. This is Deadly Club Step, a level so difficult that no one dare touch it, except for Lunar. The difficulty of the level enticed Lunar, and he began progressing. As the days passed, he got further and further, until eventually... He completed it. Being the first to do so, behind Neptune himself. For the first time in his career, the hardest level wasn't too easy for him. And in his post about it, he exclaimed that he had no words and stated that the difficulty was high. But while being the first victor is an achievement on its own, what he didn't know was that he was also the verifier. The creator, Neptune, was exposed for cheating by a video release titled Geometry Dash YouTubers, Skilled or Hackers. His reputation was ruined. Lunar finally won up to PG-1004. After this, PG would never verify anything more difficult again. To this day, no one has ever gotten more top 1 demons verified than Lunar. Most of the best players can only beat one. Lunar could have easily stopped there, but he wanted to be cemented as a legend. He wanted to be at the top of the leaderboards, and there's only one person that could stop him. Remember Exotic? Well, with him on Lunar's tail, Lunar would grow and stars even faster. He was gonna be close. At most, they'd only be a few hundred stars apart, something you really don't want when trying to become the best player. But just as Exotic looked like he was gonna pass Lunar, it happened. Lunar had become the best player in Geometry Dash, only 3 months after Update 1.9 had been released. He did it. Not only did he beat 3 of the hardest levels, but he also became the best player by passing Sari as well. Except, it wasn't over. Seeing how Lunar had just bested him, a fire was fueled inside of Exotic. Exotic was gonna make it his goal to dethrone Lunar as fast as possible. Lunar was the top player for a pathetic 3 weeks. As fast as Lunar became the best player, he just as fast came crashing down. Unlike last time, however, he couldn't catch up. Exotic was just too quick, and he would go on to get a massive lead. Despite Lunar being able to take over for a few more days, his reign was over. Exotic would end up dominating the leaderboard for half a year, until his account would disappear for a short period due to a server exploit being found. After that, his account supposedly went missing. To this day, no one is entirely sure what happened to Exotic. Was he innocent, or was something more sinister going on? But compared to Exotic or Ceres reign, Lunar's was only a blink in history. Despite his shortcomings, however, Lunar is one of the best players to ever touch this game. Even to this day, with how many top players there are, no one has ever verified three of the hardest demons, and also become the top player on the leaderboards. But unfortunately, all good things come to an end. As Upti 2.0 approached, he slowly faded away from the game, only leaving a few posts every now and then. But 2.0 wouldn't be as desolate as you think. His reign would quickly be overshadowed by the next rivalry, which was...